So back to you, Shay. Yeah. We're talking about you know this age thing and antecedent, and you know explain to us why you think that Ashwajo Tinubu is, is the best of, of the four major candidates in the in the race. So, yes. Yeah, I, I, you know, to be honest, as I as I said before the break, um, I just have looked at um, w the candidates we have in front of us, and um, I have looked at what, I mean, taking time to check what have they done. Mm. Do you understand? Um, I'm not speaking as somebody outside the ring. I'm speaking as somebody that has been in that position or in the position of politics for almost 12 years. So I can kind of tell when somebody is just, you know, trying to, you know, just making political statements. Mm. And I can tell when I think these people mean business. Um, and from where I'm standing, without a doubt, without a doubt, um, even some of those guys that I know are not, and I'm, I'm one of those guys that I'm happy whatever your choice is, so I'm, I have free conversations with people. Even those that are on the other side, the only thing they say is, well, actually, he's good. Let's, let's take away that. I think he's good, but, you know, maybe this, maybe that. But nobody... Maybe really, age, maybe health. You know, maybe nobody will really say in terms of what, what performance or, or the records that we have seen that you have challenges with that. And for me, that is still the biggest criteria I will use to pick. You know, as I said, different people will, if, if, if you are going to fly a plane, if you're going to do many things, I'm sure you want to know that this person has experience, let alone the future of our children and those coming behind us. Yes, people say, oh, I wanted a younger person, I wanted this. The more involved we are, the more that that will change. Do you understand? But where we are now, the candidates have been chosen. Ashu Ajubola Ahmed is the best of the bunch. Not Kwankwaso? So, um, Kwankwaso, I, the little I know of him, and you know, I must again speak from that point of view of, you know, this is what I can see. He has his cult following. Um, he's done his, his time as governor. We saw the improvements. As governor, he was Minister <clears throat> of Defense as well. Yes. Um, but when, when you put it side by side, um, it still doesn't. It still doesn't um, match up. Still doesn't match. And again, so what I'm saying is, I've not said anything that Peter Obi did not do well. I've not said that Tiku did not win, do that well. I'm just, I'm, not I'm, just, name I'm just saying we'll still get there. that that of the lot. Absolutely. If we are totally honest, Absolutely. and we're <clears> not <throat> trying to, you know, sometimes the noise is loud and everybody is saying several things. But if you try and whip through that noise and let's look for facts and figures. I think it's very clear. So, so despite all of these, you know, you know, should I say ambiguities surrounding Ashiwaju, you know, even though he may say that, oh, these things have been cleared, there's still these things around him, mm -hmm. around his age, mm -hmm. around his background, mm -hmm. around his schooling, mm -hmm. this drug, you know, money laundering issue, mm -hmm. for feature, mm -hmm. you know, corruption issues, mm -hmm. family issues, for mm -hmm. instance. Mm -hmm. You know, these things are just hanging around him. Mm -hmm. Despite these things, mm -hmm. You still believe he's the best candidate. So, so you know, I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer as well. If if Ashwajo has been charged and is guilty, I don't think he will have the opportunity to stand certainly, that place. Certainly, you know. And legally speaking, he he, he doesn't have anything against him. Mm, I'm, I'm not Do speaking legally right no, now. No, but, but I, I, at the end I'm, of the day, say... that's that's all uh, constitution. Because again, no, I don't, I'm not. I'm not. I don't. Work for Ashwaju. Mm. I don't know him like certainly. to be able certainly. to make certain things. However, when you believe in the rule of law, mm. you believe in equality of law. You believe everybody is the same in the eyes of law. If he's guilty, he should face the issue, the um, charges of being guilty. If he's not guilty, we cannot continue to castigate. Do you understand? There is mm. a process. There, if somebody is guilty, let him go through the rigors of and let him be punished. But if he's not guilty and you keep using these things to hold him as guilty, I mean, you know, I yeah. feel it's a bit... Um, but, but you, what I'm trying to say, for instance, if you're about to make an investment sure. into a business entity, for sure. instance, there's this business that, you know, has done business and it has a track record of doing business. Sure. And you know, they give you good returns. Sure. The, the, the books appear to be a bit clear. Appear? Yeah. They seem appear. clear. I Is mean, they, they, they are clear from on the face of it. They are clear. <laughs> now, the, the other business also yield maybe even higher returns than this one. <laughs> but their books don't seem very clear. Uh -huh. In fact, 
not clear in fact. Okay. You know, by law, it might be clear, might be able to maneuver the law sure. to the advantage. But you cannot see that some things don't balance here. How did they get this money in here? How did they even be able to deliver this and that? Anyway, they're giving good returns. Sure. Do you understand? Would you rather go for where you seemingly have safety? And you know, and take the minimum. So returns I will ask the questions of: Was it audited? Who audited it? Do you understand? Look, I look, um, um, in politics, politics. There's something we call mudslinging in Ibadan. Yeah. We say lemo. Mm. Mm? So your opponent, while lemo, I mm. they throw it at you intentionally, knowing their lies. But they will say, let him be dealing with that one for now. Mm, so they distract him. yes to distract him. So I am used to hearing a lot of things. You know, let more, let him so even things that are clearly lies. Case in point, somebody called my PA two days ago and said I was at the secretariat, I was sharing gifts. I could see me, I was in my house. And you know, I, the people started calling that why didn't they call them to come and collect the gifts? And I'm like, what gifts? I'm in my house. And the guy was like, he's in front of me. So I said, tell them to take, his, take my picture. Mm. And then he didn't hear from them again. So what am I trying to say? We can't go by hearsay. We can't go by rumor. Mm. If Ashwaju has been deemed guilty, he cannot and should not. But until then, I think it would be very unfair that you are held down based on what people say Absolutely. in the marketplace. I, I think uh, your opponents will cook some up. Some, the streets will just carry it. Mm. Do you understand? Some, if, and if you keep asking why, why did you say that? What's your proof? No, nothing empirical. Mm. Oh, we think he owns this. We think he does that. We think, okay, think it. Does he? Do you understand? So, I, I mean, as I said, I'm not a spokesperson. I'm not, I'm certainly, speaking certainly, as, certainly. as a third party neutral person. I, I mean, person our, our goal here is to make people see these things in yes. a, on the neutral. Yes, absolutely. You know, so that people don't do good job into conclusions. Without any basis for it, a lot uh, of people are out there just uh, absolutely. You, know, you see, we must, we must we must add to our parties. our and I'm and I'm one of the most you know, if you like, I'm the happiest person that the youth have woken up. Mm. You, we were sleeping giants. It was like, <sighs> you understand? I wish we woke up earlier. You think we are really woken up? No, we have. I mean, the numbers are telling you, yeah. telling us that mm. um, how we perform at the election will confirm. Mm. But I wish we did that a few years earlier so that when we got to congresses to pick those that will select delegates, mm. to pick those that will select candidates, I wish we had you know, woken up earlier that, and then we could have party, influenced, party yes, we could have influenced that. However, we will start here and we won't, we will, I mean, yes, so oh, you can, no, no problem. Let's, let's get through this. But whatever happens, 2027, we will be here. You understand? God keeping all of us. So I, I believe that, yeah, I, I mean, I'm excited that this is happening. And more people will not just leave it on the sidelines, but will actually get involved, mm. you know? And what does get involved mean? Join the party. You know, your PVC is the, uh, or voting, I beg your pardon, is the lowest form of participation. Yeah. You understand? That you vote is the lowest form. But we need to be a little bit more interested. After they get into office, how do we hold them accountable? How do we check on them? Are they doing what they said they will? Are we criticizing them? Are we forming advocacy groups? Are we forming um, lobby groups? Are we forming, do you understand, things that we can really put a check on those in office? I'm in office, not many people check us. Mm. And I can say that for a fact. And that is what, that's the beauty of democracy, is that people can say to them, we voted you, you promised us A, B, C, D, E. You haven't done it. We want a town hall meeting. We want you to answer questions. That's the beauty of democracy. But if we end at just voting, and it looks like they are cajoling people to vote, which is supposed to be the lowest form. But if we can move higher than that, we will start to see changes. Because as young people, we use tech, we use media, mm. and we use them very well. Mm. And that can keep even the best of um, emperors on that check if Absolutely. it's used properly. Absolutely. Absolutely. But this, this you know, is rejuvenated um, interest in politics and in the voting process <coughs> yes. by the youth. Yes. How, how do you think it's going to swing? Do you think it will marginally make a big difference from the previous election? And I, when I say that, I mean, for instance, the Petal B campaign is running on the fact that the people are the structure. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't need to have 
a gent nationwide. Mm. You know, the, 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 the youth out there who are highest in number, you know, will vote for me. Mm. I don't need to have all that structure that, you know, people used, used to have. So do you think that this new movement by the youth, this new participation, will change the status quo in terms of the modalities of election? Is that what Peter Obi thinks? Yeah, I mean, yes. He said that in different, you know, that he doesn't places. need the that structure. the people, the people, <laughs> that the structure, structure are human beings. I know he's a professional that, politician. I know, that, you know, Peter Obi was in the PDP up to the, a few months ago. Well, he understands. Peter Obi he is understands a, is a professional in politics. <laughs> I He's a businessman. I, I used to say that. I'm a lawyer too. Yeah. I used to say I'm a professional in politics. Mm. We are politicians. Yeah. And we need to be able to differentiate that some people went into politics for the good of the people. Some Absolutely. went for the wrong reasons. And we must call them out. And we must, no problem. Do you understand? Mm. That's why, as I said, accountability, advocacy is important. Yes. But some actually went to make a difference. And, you know, they're still trying to make a difference. Mm. Now, the point is this. Youth, right now, we carry heavy potential, yes. heavy potential. Will potential turn into action is the question. You know, I've heard people say, you know, the steam is slowing down. You know, the momentum is rolling, you know, is reducing. Mm. How do we get it up? You know, so I'm hearing different things out there. But the fact of the matter is that, you know, if you're going to win an election, you can't leave it to, if you like, general. The people, you need to have anchor men. You need to have people in charge of different. I know he understands this. No, but, but you this, see, uh, this, this, this they say system. politics is about numbers. It's all yes. about figures. Sure. Do you understand? And if, <clears throat> for instance, let's say it does its numbers, for instance. Sure. You know, and it says that, okay, I can get 20 million votes from youth. <laughs> so are you. Do you, do, you, think, do you think you still require that structure? No, that you, do you that think, you, okay, so let's, let's put it, let me ask you a question. 8.7 million young people registered yes. out of 12.1 or 12.2 million. Mm. How many, do, I hope you know PDP has youth too. Of course, and APC, APC has, has youth, youth and, has and youth, all of them have youth. Certainly, so I certainly. think it, it goes without saying that Peter P doesn't have all the youth. No, no, I'm, 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 youth I'm assuming without conceding. Yes. That so, if his calculations are so, correct, yes. it will make a shift in the modalities of electioneering. But, but again, we're talking about presidency. Yes. There are rules in our constitution yes, it's certain criteria. about having 25% you know, into a third of the Do you state. understand? <clears throat> so, so I think these are all very, very, and I, and, and I, I know he's a smart man. I, mm. I've heard him speak. I've not had the privilege to meet him. But I'm sure that maybe there are some other things that obviously don't come into the public. You don't Labour Party space. members in your in your in your in your local government. No, it's not existent. <laughs> <laughs> so I, well, I mean, you, it would be unfair to say it's not in my state. And the point. The point you, is you that understand? The, the the people that will vote for him are, are mostly online, you know, according to them, and you know, which is why I said on the face we have potential. potential. We have the power to really drive things, but mm. would we? And, and, and is the, 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 the job, really, is how do you convert potential to reality? Absolutely. I think that's the, that's the point, and, and that, that, that's the job. But again, like I said, I think even those that are supporting, some of them will tell the you youth are spread. It's spread. You know, it, it, it spread. spread it's, because it's, youth is not an ideology. It's, yeah. it's not. It's so not, we won't say not. because we are young, we will all support, support the same somebody. thing. Yeah, it's absolutely. never going to happen. Absolutely. And even if we tried, there's something called divide and rule. Certainly. Right. And, Certainly. And so no, 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 nobody Certainly. will allow everybody going one way.